Hey friends, Ben from Mental Effects, and one of the most challenging things that you've told us uh, that you want to do is to make your speakers wireless reliably. Uh, and of course, we've talked in the past about some great solutions. We've used like the uh, Sennheiser IEM system with great success. And of course, when something new and great comes along, we want you to know about it. And it did. This is the new IEM system from Audio Technica. And you'd say, okay, well, that's all fine and well. You already told us about the Sennheiser IEM. What makes this one so great? Well, I'm glad you asked, and I'm glad you're still watching, because I'm going to tell you. First thing I'm going to ask you, has he ever wished you'd have a frequency analyzer in your pocket? And you might say, no. Well, let me ask you the question in a different way. Have you ever really wished you could see what's happening in the wireless spectrum so you knew why your wireless mics maybe had problems or why your other wireless devices were having problems? Well, before I get into the features of what this thing does so well, I want to tell you it also does that. Uh, what's really cool about this IEM system is instead of having frequency band groups, um, like in the Sennheiser, for example, you have band A, band A1, or band G, this only has one band, and it spans the entire spectrum of 470 to 608 megahertz. So it's, you don't need to have a specific band for your area. It covers it all, <laughs> which is super, super cool. And it, it, if that wasn't cool enough, it also shows you the scan results. So that's the first thing I want to look at. And then I'm going to tell you why this is just a great solution for a wireless speaker system. So it's like the fact that it is a really reliable and great wireless speaker system is almost a bonus. Oh, and P.S., it has a great price. But let's take a look at that spectrum scan feature real quick. So I'm going to turn my body pack on. And because the body pack is the receiver, the scan is going to be done from here. It's a little bit backwards of what we think about with wireless mics, but in wireless mics, the receiver is the rack mount unit typically. In this case, the receiver is the body pack. So I'm going to go in here and into my menu. And I'm going to go to where it says scan. And I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to choose a full scan. And it is now going to span, scan that entire spectrum from 470 to 608. And this is going to take a little bit because that's a lot of frequencies. All right, so almost done. And now we can see our scan results. And it says press sync. And we're going to do that. And what I think is really cool is the IR window is on the back. So we can actually see what's happening while we do our sync. So I'm going to go ahead and press that sync. And it's now connected to the uh, base station. Both of them are telling us what's happening. And it says, done. Great. Let's see what we've got. Uh, when we come over here and we look at our full scan data, this now shows us a spectrum analyzer. And we can see that there is something right there that we would want to avoid. And it's also going to tell us what clear frequencies we should use. But this is really useful because this shows us what we should avoid with our other systems as well. And it's showing us that entire spectrum from 470 uh, up to nearly 608. So that is a really, really killer feature in my book. Now we're going to uh, select a group that we want to uh, use here and a channel. And I've just done group two to make this quick and easy. And you'll see here that it says deploy. So we'll say, OK, let's deploy. Now, if we had multiples of these, this is where it would get really cool because it will actually talk to the other ones. Uh, so it's going to go check the network, and it's going to say who all's out there. And everybody's getting a frequency. And it's going to uh, deploy those devices. And then we will just simply uh, deploy these frequencies. And it's going to store that. And then we will just sync our mic, or excuse me, sync our IEM again. And we're all set. A couple of really cool features I want to talk about on the body pack are if we go into this menu, we can see right here I have a signal strength meter. It shows me how strong my signal is. As we would expect, being this close, it should be really, really strong. But as we can see on the uh, base transmitter, it's a whopping 50 milliwatts of power. So it's going to go a long ways, and it's going to do so very reliably. Uh, we can also see on the uh, you know quick glance here that it's in stereo mode and some of the other really cool features that are about it. So speaking of that, for getting into uh, using this as a wireless speaker system, we have uh, a BNC detachable antenna on the back. We can change that out. And I kind of recommend it to something like a half wave antenna or a bigger antenna like this, or maybe a paddle antenna. That's going to even further increase our range. We have a really cool video on antennas if you want to give that a watch. And it shows the difference that different antennas will make. That, of course, is right here on the NLFXPro.com YouTube channel. And of course, I know you're subscribed, right? So it'd be easy to find that video. 
Uh, we also have stereo XLR line level inputs. So what's really cool about using an IEM as opposed to a mic system is this is designed to receive stereo balanced line level audio from our mixer or our controller and then send that out reliably. And if you think about what these were originally built for, they're originally built to put in-ear monitors in musicians' ears. And what could be more valuable to a musician than their ear? So quality audio and reliable transmission are absolutely essential in a system like this, and that's what it's built to do. Uh, and uh, then, of course, we also see some balanced TRS pass-throughs. And another really cool feature, I mentioned the network a second ago, is the Ethernet port on the back, where we could use this to network to other systems, or perhaps if you're a real nerd like me, you can actually connect software, Mac or PC, so you can monitor this from that application and uh, really keep an eye on things that are happening, plus use the spectrum analysis feature in there, which is really pretty cool. To use this as a wireless speaker system, we've done our scan, we've found our clean frequencies, we've got our mixer, imaginary mixer in this case, plugged in, and now we're just going to take this cable, which we provide here with the system at NLFX, and it's going to connect into the body pack, and then the balanced XLR end is going to connect into your speaker, and you are all set. You are now transmitting that audio uh, right there reliably to your wireless speaker. One last perk that's a real bonus, I guess, because this is intended as a musician's in-ear monitor system is you get a really cool, uh, really nice set of in-ear monitors with it. So uh, just a happy bonus, I guess. There are, of course, a lot of other features under the hood here. There's a full menu on the transmitter base as well as a bunch more goodies in the uh, pack, but I wanted to give you the very quick, simple overview of how you can get a really cool frequency analyzer that just also happens to be a very reliable wireless speaker system at a pretty good price. In fact, mention this video and we're going to give you a little extra special price. Uh, I just want to know you're watching. So, and we appreciate you watching so much. Please, again, make sure you're subscribed to the NLFX YouTube channel. Uh, turn on the notifications. Be sure to share your comments and your questions. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.